Good morning guys, what is going on? It is Friday, what is going on? It is about 8 o'clock in the morning, just about to make my way to the gym now. Uh, I have some personal training first, so I'm going to do that for an hour, and then I'm going to be training some arms. I might do a little bit of chest before, but I haven't done an arm day in ages, so anyway guys, hope you enjoy this video, and let's do it. Alright guys, what is going on? So first exercise on this arm workout, I was supersetting each exercise. So the supersetting is basically going from exercise back to back with no rest. And the first exercise you can see is what I'm doing here is some underhand pull-ups uh, just for the biceps. So I'm still kind of warming up. It felt pretty easy on this day, but just still making sure that you're controlling on the way down, squeezing at the top and trying to get full range of motion. Uh, that's what we did for the first exercise. Then going on to the second one, was some tricep dips as you can see what i'm doing here we did about 20 reps and it was about 12 reps onto the pull-ups so the first exercise was 12 reps this one was 20 uh, reason being i find tricep dips a lot easier than uh, pull-ups to be honest so that's what i did uh, i didn't do it add any weight or anything like i'm still warming up to be honest so that's what the first superset was anyway then moving on second exercise was some easy bar curls going around for about eight to ten reps um, you can see my form a little bit swaying, just a little bit. Basically, I'm just like using this exercise as kind of like the mass builder for my biceps. So, just going trying to get a little bit more heavier weight rather than strict and controlled form. Um, the form is still like decent, but it's just not like real strict. And then this second exercise went straight into this exercise, which is kind of like a skull crusher into a press. Uh, to be honest, I got these from like watching Steve Cook's videos. I saw him doing them, so I thought I'd give them a go. So this was the first time trying them. I found them all right, to be honest. Um, I, felt, I feel it really good because it like concentrates on the negative on the skull crusher, but I wasn't too sure on the pressing because uh, obviously it just feels like it's bringing in quite a lot of chest. So I don't know whether I'll use these again or just stick to normal skull crushers, to be honest. Then from on there, we went to some close grip preacher curl. And as you can see at the back, I'm not like sitting on the seat. And um, what I'm doing is like leaning onto the pad, making sure that my back of the arms are flat on the pad as well. Um, and what you can see is I'm leaning is because that what that does it is takes the shoulder out of the movement. So I don't know if you ever do preacher curls and you always feel like your shoulders are doing quite a bit of work. Uh, this is a really good way of taking your shoulders out of the movement and just completely isolating isolating sorry your biceps so then on to the tricep extension guys this is what i was doing aiming for about 12 reps and then when i kind of can't get any more reps kind of thing with keeping the rope i do the first 10 to 12 reps with the rope apart at all times and then at the end when my form tends to go and start to get tired i just push the rope together and just kind of smash out as many reps as i can do as you can see what i'm doing here next super set which was these are which are called like Popeyes I think they call them but what you want to do is just make sure your elbows are like same height as your shoulder level basically and then you're just stretching and squeezing this is like more of a pump exercise rather than like a mass builder for biceps but it's a good one to chuck in there now and again quite enjoy it and then I super set with that just changing the uh, attachments into some overhead cable extensions which is a great exercise again for triceps And then last superset of the day was some hammer curls, which is a really good exercise. Just brings the forearms into it a little bit. Really enjoy doing the seated hammer curl, especially because you can't cheat, you have to use good form. And this one just focuses on as well, the muscle in between your bicep and your tricep, the brachialis. So that's a good exercise. And then I just went and did straight into some diamond push-ups to failure, three sets. But that was pretty much the workout, guys. So give it a go. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Alright, what's going on? So it's Sunday today, so we're just on our way to Newport now. We just got to Newport pretty much. And we're gonna do some Christmas shopping because it is a week till Christmas. Not to mention that I'm having a rest day today from the gym because I just am because oh, fuck it. <laughs> 
I played football yesterday, but I know I will go to the gym tomorrow and probably train chess tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, we just got back from shopping. We went for a meal as well. We went to Las Iguanas. We went, Las, where did you say it? We went to Las Iguanas. Oh, I can't say it now. And we had uh, tapas, which is like, I reckon one of my favorite foods now. It's quite nice. I'll put it on the screen now. Uh, that's what we did. Um, didn't get that much shopping done. Anyway, we're back at mine now, so we're just chilling. Probably gonna have a beer. And that is it. That's a three hour session, isn't it? Three hours and 20 minutes. No, no, no we've got a half, half twelve. twelve. Three hours session. Three hours session. We did a bit of everything. Good leg session, back, a little bit of chest. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs>